Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And hopefully we're not in Echo Vision when you hear this. Uh, it wouldn't be Echo Vision. Echo Vision. It's Echo, echo Audio. There you oral. go. No, not That's oral. A... That's. Well, you better stop. Yeah, let's just just let's just start over. Welcome back to Clownfish That's TV. Right. Uh, we now are, with less echo. Now with less oral. Hopefully, um, we are we are recording in the secondary studio because yesterday we don't have any furniture really in the main studio, and it was very the audio was very very bad. Yeah, we have to get that fixed. So, yeah, so we're working we, on it. Just fill up with a bunch of junk. I don't think they care as long as they get videos. So yeah, hey, right. we're good. Yeah, we're good. So we're gonna talk about the PS5 cluster. Yeah, um, it, it turned into quite the debacle as uh, well. We had some experience with it because Geeky, um, being the awesome wife and mother that she is, managed to snag one. I did uh, last night because it went live sooner than it was supposed to. And she was watching it like a hawk. And uh, I'll tell my story when you, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, we'll get Give to them it. the backstory. But uh, anyway, so everybody's freaking out about this because PS5, you know, the pre-orders were supposed to, supposed to launch at like midnight. Right. They said they were going to do what they could to stop them from going early so it made it more fair. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Supposedly. I didn't watch the event. That's what Squid King was saying. Yeah. And of course, I think Walmart Walmart launched their pre-orders early. Uh, they launched it like, like 645 645. So. And then I called GameStop. Now, we... We don't have a GameStop around here anymore. No. They, they closed it down one day. It just like disappeared. It did. Like, where's GameStop? It was over by the Walmart and it just like disappeared. But there is one like half hour, 45 minutes from here. And I called over there and I'm like, well, okay. I saw Walmart had their, their pre-orders up. Can I, can I pre-order one? And uh, they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So we go to the website. They're like, nah, you got to come in. Right, they were doing it in store, and they, people were all thinking they were going to go line up today. But if you were smart enough and, and you know had the heads up, you could go to your store yesterday, later in the day. And apparently, stores were doing pre-orders. Now, if you were on the West Coast, you had more time, obviously. Yeah, so they were they were gone quick. I know Twitter was was panicking yesterday about the the pre-orders. I don't know which one's more popular, the digital or the disc. The digital was sold for out first for what I've seen. Because it's cheaper. What happened was. I, I saw that uh, one of the websites had a list of the, of the links to the places that would have the system for pre-order. So I opened all these windows up so I could have it ready thinking, okay, they said they could go up as early as nine Eastern time. So uh, this is like before seven. And I clicked on the Walmart one and it said it was available. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I put it in the cart and by the time I got the credit card to pay for it, it was sold out. So I was like, crap. Um, but we knew then that they were going to launch them early, even though they said they weren't going to do that. So of course, other retailers, uh, some other retailers followed suit. I noticed Target's page had changed. It wasn't the same, you know, coming soon thing, but I didn't see the pre-order. I'm like, but it's not here. Well, after about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, I, I just started scrolling down the page to see what else was on the page. At the very bottom of the page was the pre-order for the systems. I don't think people knew they were there. The page changed, but they didn't know why. So I was able to grab us the console version. Now the digital one sold out very quickly. I did post about it on Twitter. I did let my sister know, so she grabbed one too. Um, but they sold out really fast and we were like, okay, we have one. And you said, I didn't follow this, but you said the drama went down even more so overnight. Oh yeah, it was people were freaking out over it. Now here's a, here's a story from Kotaku. It, Cause it threw everybody off. Cause basically once Walmart, it's kind of like Black Friday where if like one person gets through the, the, the past the guard, they all just kind of yeah. rush the door. That's what happens. Bum rush the door, yeah. Yeah, so as soon as Walmart posted theirs, everybody's like, well, we're just gonna go ahead and do it now. Um, so officially the PS5 pre-orders weren't supposed to start until Thursday, September 17th. They're gone already. So people were, so it's really not fair to the people that, you know, thought it was gonna, cause they said they were gonna try to keep it on the schedule they set. So people yep. were like, I'll just, you know, get up early and try to get one today. And they were, a lot of them are gone already. Yep, perhaps you expected to be notified of said pre-orders if you signed up to get a heads up on the website. I signed up for three or four different retailers. I did not get a notification from any of them. Yeah, I signed up for a couple places too. I never got notified. Probably because it's already it's already sold out. Instead, orders for the PS5 are seemingly open at most big retailers, which would be great, except for the fact that nearly everyone is failing at throwing hundreds of dollars at Sony. And now they're saying most, most are sold out, if not all by now, I'm sure. If you went to GameStop's PS5 page, they were blocking people. Yes, that happened to me. Yeah. I kept getting that last night. It kept blocking me and I was like, what's going on? And I think those people were trying to get in, but it wasn't up yet, but they were trying to get in. I don't know what happened, but I got that. And I tried it on different, uh, 
you know, different operating systems and stuff. It, it, it wouldn't let me in. Yeah, it's, the site was down because of cloud. Different search engines, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Go yeah, ahead. so if you're trying to pre-order PS5 or one of its launch games accessories, you'll likely notice something is amiss if you try doing literally anything else on the website. Uh, GameStop.com loads everything, PlayStation related or not, painfully slow. Well, they're hemorrhaging money right now. Yeah. GameStop, I mean, I would, I, I'll tell you the truth. I talked about this in a video yesterday. I would be afraid of ordering a PS5 from GameStop because I'd be afraid they'd go out of business before the PS5 came in. And they had the money. And they wouldn't have the money. Chapter 11. Yep, like, oopsie, sorry we took or you know pre-orders for millions of these things, but we're not going to ship them. Or we needed that money to keep the business afloat. Or something. You know, and oh, you're not going to, you're not going to get, we'll get you some next year, but you're not going to get mad at us because if, if we didn't keep all the, the PS5 money, we would have had to lay off all these employees. You know, selfish, you're so selfish. Um, so yeah, everybody's, it's just a, it was a disaster. Now, the thing that I'm not hearing about is uh, uh, the Xbox, like nobody's talking about Well, the that's Xbox coming now. out soon too. That's what, the 22nd, I think they're going out for pre-order? Yeah, Taco Bell's doing a thing. And Taco Bell's doing a contest. Um, for that, like they do every year, they have contests. They're doing that one this year too. Um, that's gonna be for the Xbox. Was it it's X? Whatever. Um, <laughs> the one yeah. The ugly Halo game. So, uh, you, know, you better watch it. Some people are gonna beat you for that. It looks um, like trash. I don't pay attention, so I it don't looks care. Like, it looks I would like not play these systems either way. I just knew that Squid King wanted it very badly, and they. I know you guys wanted it to review and yeah, play games for the it. business and stuff. They want that was part of the gaming channel. <laughs> Did you ever think you, you have to play games for the business? <laughs> That's right. So I know you wanted it for that. So um, I was trying to find it, and, and, and he kept poo-pooing me. He's like, oh, it's fine. I'm sure we'll get one later. It's going to go up tonight. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And I was like, I had a feeling. And if I hadn't stayed on it like I did, we wouldn't have gotten one. So Yeah. Oh, there's a name called Penis Nipples. Penis Nipples. Says, I must have gotten lucky. Penis Nipples got lucky. Uh, went to Gamertag Radio Showcase during the recording and said pre-orders were suddenly open. That's it. What happened was all the gaming sites sent that notification that it was open. So a lot of people were pissed off. Sounds like Twitter. digital sold out that first for most people. We got the disc for it because we still have a bunch of PS4. Yeah, we usually just buy the console. Yeah. I know it's more expensive, but that's what we bought. Um, but the digital version, a lot of people don't want the discs anymore, and I understand that. Um, so that one sold out first because it was also $100 cheaper. Yeah, so um, this I thought was interesting. Uh, Black Sage D actually sent it over last night. Said that the the full price first party games are gonna go up to seventy bucks. No, I thought okay. From my understanding, there's like different tiers. That's the highest one. That that would be the the triple A first party. Okay, there we go. Uh, Miles Morales will be fifty because it's like like Spider Man one and a mm -hmm. half. So, uh, but yeah, it's the price of the games going up. But you know, all things considered, people can play about the prices of games, and I think. You know, having PC games downloads, it's, it's definitely tainted like what games should cost. Because remember, kids, Nintendo games cost 50 bucks back in the 1980s. Right. You know, which would be like $100 in yeah. today's currency. And so. here's the thing, too. I mean, here's my thing, though. If you have a digital, you're buying a digital. I don't think digital should cost as much as the, no. as the, the physical copies. I really don't think they should because they don't have all the overhead. But they charge the same price. I, just, I always, it's like web comics or digital comics. You're paying the same as you would cover price a yeah. lot of times. I'm like, well, that's dumb, you know? Just real quick before we wrap this one up, um, we, you know, one of the, uh, I don't know if it's a launch title, but it's coming out. I don't is, think it's a launch title, it's next year. Okay, next year. It's, it's yeah, new Harry Potter RPG, Hogwarts Legacy. Not a good time for a new Harry Potter announcement. I'm sure they, yeah, they made a, they, even if they're working on it, they might want to have, have waited on that announcement. But this just goes to prove that not everybody has their asses on Twitter watching the drama all the time. The majority of the people are, don't even know there's an issue, nor do they give a shit. Nope. So this just proves this. Oh my God. So Resetera, Resetera is like, oh my God. They're actually bringing out a Harry Potter game for the PS5. Right, because a lot of people want to play it. Uh, since you sound like you plan buying this game, congratulations are in order. You're already an evil asshole. I still love, I, I can't get past it and I don't care. You can bitch and scream in the comments all you want. But I think it's hilarious because um, it's not like I'm Mary Sue and stuff. They're talking about dangerous stereotypes against trans people. I'm like, there's a difference between being a trans person and being somebody who would be like a transvestite or crossdresser. And the way it's presented is this person likes to, it, it's, it sounds more like you said, like psycho or something like that. It's like, to dress in women's clothing or it could be because they don't want to be identified or whatever reason but they're not trans person mm -hmm. so it's not a trans stereotype and i love how you're so effing concerned about stereotypes now 
But when stereotypes work in the favor you like, like with what we saw in She-Ra or what we're seeing with the, the Snake Eyes film, oh, that's fine. You can stereotype people then because you're the one stereotyping. But this, this isn't even a stereotype. This isn't even stereotyping. But, you know, that's what they're yelling about. I'm just so You know what? Sit and spin. No one cares. I like to dress as Margaret Thatcher just to fuck with people. That's not true. Isn't it? You better not be. True. You've just never seen Because then it. I don't know about it. You, well. Because you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't mess with me when you are dressed as Margaret Thatcher. Well, that's not fair. Because that would be weird. Oh, because, you know, messing with other people isn't weird. Uh, anyway, another reset or a take. This is why it's not just miss. Oh, my God. I can't even. This is why people make fun of this place. It's just a game. Calm down. People are like, I hope she doesn't get royalties. I'm sure she does. <laughs> and this one guy is like, J.K. Rowling is is personally sent, spending all of her time hunting trans kids for sport. Because <laughs> that's a, no, literally, people are like, if you and they're okay. So to to take this a step further, the people who complained about the Harry Potter books being banned from Christian schools are now burning the Harry Potter books. Mm -hmm. Literally on TikTok, I saw a video on Twitter yesterday. Somebody posted on TikTok. They had a big bonfire with Harry Potter books. They're burning the Harry Potter books. And I'm like, Man. Yes, but you're the Nazis. But yeah, right? And then they're talking about uh, how, you know, J.K. Rowling's new book is literally getting trans kids killed. And I'm like. Where? Where? How is that possible? It's Show a book me. about, the, the character in the book isn't even trans. It's not about belittling, because I, I, I'm still saying there is a difference between someone who is trans and feels that they are in the wrong body, and, and then there is somebody who just might like to wear clothes of the opposite gender. They're not the same damn thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, I just, uh, so anyway, um, I guess, you know, don't don't buy that game. That is that is that a hard thing to do? Just don't. If they're, you're them, yeah, if you have a problem with her, just don't, don't buy the don't game. Don't buy the game. That's what you tell us all the time. You don't like she or just don't watch it. You don't like our shows. Well, just don't watch it then. It's not for you. Well, I guess this isn't for you then. Don't buy it. Problem solved. You know, that's oh, what, it was, it's that easy to tell everybody else who doesn't like something just not to buy it and problem solved. Shut up and sit down and shut up if you don't like it. Sit down and shut up if you don't like it. I'm like, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, you're not going to be able to boycott it anyway because you're, you'd be lucky if you can get a PS5 because they're talking shortages now, too. There's going to be yeah. shortages. Well, this, they're um, talking this is out to next year anyway at some point. Okay. So is it going to be uh, is going to be like the Tickle Me Elmo this year? It's going to be Tickle Me Sony. Tickle me. I don't. I don't think that's so. that's a new that's a new a anime dating sim. Tickle me. Tickle me Sony. Yeah, but not um, too much because it's too lewd and Sony doesn't like that. Um, I was gonna say a lot of people are waiting. Um, they're not even buying it now because which I don't blame them. Um, they're waiting until there's more games out to play, uh, which is what we usually do as well. It's just usually. that you want to cover it for the channel. Otherwise, we would be waiting the same as you. Um to see when there's more games and to see how it works. Cause a lot of times uh, first, you know, generation systems have glitches or issues that you don't know about until mm -hmm. later and they fix them later. So there's a lot of reasons to wait. And I mean, I don't blame people. We would be doing the same thing. Yeah, I know the, the first generation PS2s were, I guess the uh, the drives went out. I'm trying to remember the drives went out on, but I got burnt hard when I was a kid. I saved my money for a Sega CD hmm. and the games that came out with the Sega CD at first were garbage. And, and plus from Night Trap, and, yeah. um, and they weren't very good. And I got frustrated with it, so I sold it to a friend of mine. And, and then like right after I sold it, the good games came out. Sonic CD came out, Lunar came out. But at that point, I already moved on to Super NES. I'm like, I, I but yeah, I've gotten burnt on buying consoles. I remember when the N64 came out, it had like four games. Yeah, well, this is normal. When you they know? come out, it doesn't have that much. If you just wait, they'll have more games. They'll probably have more avail availability because everybody's mm. going to be crunched for it now because of the holidays. And we already know a lot of things they're expecting to have. Well, at least they're going to use the excuse of, um, well, you have to grab it now because there's going to be a shortage uh, because, of the shut shortage. because of the shutdown. Yeah, right. You know, so it, it, they could be artificially creating a shortage. It could be, honestly, because of the shutdown. It could be yeah. that there's no shortage at all, but they're trying to make false demand. For whatever reason, um, um, you're probably better to wait anyway. Uh, but these are automatically, as you can imagine, on eBay already. Mm -hmm. Thousand bucks. Right. They're already on eBay. Um, it, like anything else, I'm sure there are bots that as soon as things showed up, like we see it with, we see it with the Switch. People are trying to get the, the Switch and they can't get it because as soon as they come into stock online, these bots are set up to go buy them all so they can put them on eBay. So yeah. I'm, I'm sure that's going to keep happening. Um, Honestly, switches are going for a whole bunch of money too, and you probably, you know, you're probably can get a PS5 before you can get a Switch right now. 
So yeah. and then we had as many as we wanted, and I told you to buy buy one. I thought and that. We thought about getting one for the studio, and I told you to buy an yeah. extra one because we have one at home, and you didn't do it, I and then have. they haven't come back in since. <sighs> next time. There is next time. There is next time. So, all right. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. All right. So uh, good luck finding one if you want one. I know a lot of people are saying they're not gonna support Sony anymore though because of their ridiculous censorship uh, standards. And uh, you know, I can't, I can't fault you for that. They're, no. They're and endless. you know what? People are actually following through on this stuff now. You know, it used to be people would threaten yeah. it, but they wouldn't follow through. People are following through, so they need to start listening because you know they're doing what they should do. They're voting with their wallets. Um, you know, and, be, and the, these companies are going to have to start listening because they're actually taking a hit financially. Yeah, I, I'm really surprised about the Netflix cuties boycott mm-hmm. working the way it did. And, and yeah, I was surprised. I thought people would talk, but they wouldn't actually cancel, and they, they canceled. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to wrap it up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.